He died on the cross for me. I am forgiven. I am forsaken. I walk the hills. Amen. Just getting in the Word, doing some more pondering, and uh, today I'm kind of going, uh, okay, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and not moved away from the hope of the gospel, okay, we hope that God is glorified in our life, right? We want God to be glorified in our life, because uh, if God is glorified in our lives, then He will straightway glorify us, just like He did Jesus. He revealed, God revealing through Christ, our hope. And that's the resurrection from the dead, right? The resurrection of life in all those who are, um, who love God in this time. Um, now, some of the things I'm, I'm thinking about, be not moved away uh, with an evil heart of unbelief. Uh, stay steadfast until the day dawn. Uh, for your sake and for those that hear you, uh, and don't let your liberty be a stumbling block for others. You know, it's a it's a whole reciprocal relationship between the body of Christ and each other. You know, it's a we're being compacted, compiled into a uh, a fighting force of faithful citizens in the kingdom of God. You know, so we want to we want to continue in that. So praise the Lord. Uh, it's been another great day so far, man. Uh, I was led to the dregs again, the sediment. Um, when we become sedentary, uh, hedrayas, when we become sedentary, that's that sediment of God that he's preparing. And he says he's going to give uh, the sediment, the dregs of the cup, to the wicked to drink. Uh, that's our lifestyle lived before the, the ungodly, and they're going to drink that in. They're going to imbibe that, and that's... That's going to cause their garments to be dyed with with blood, essentially, because uh, then that testimony is going to stand against them. Look, these people were living before you in this time of grace, you know, passing between the pieces, the old man and the new man. And as we pass through the pieces, then Jesus Christ is, uh, uh, he's passing through with us. He passed through before us so that um, we can pass through the pieces between the old man and the new man and be rest assured that uh, resurrection is attainable and that's what we hope Paul says I haven't attained it yet but I pursue after I strive against sin in myself uh, I want to become that sediment that that sedentary vessel that is rooted and grounded in the faith that's not like a mollusk or a uh, uh, barnacle on a ship that are, you know, physically sedentary. My principles are sedentary. I may move all around the country and as a homeless sojourner and pilgrim in the world, uh, I admit there's no country here in this time, so to speak, no continuing city, if you will, in this time. And so I pursue the kingdom of God and His righteousness because my citizenship is in heaven where Christ is. And uh, one day that's going to manifest uh, in a very real situation. Right now it's a spiritual, uh, I'm a spiritual oyster <laughs> or uh, a spiritual barnacle. My principles are cleaving to God's righteousness. And uh, though men may see me move around, I'm still sedentary. I'm part of the dregs. And as the wicked drink the dregs, uh, that's staining their garments. Who is this from Edom that comes with garments stained by the sheepfold, right? <laughs> As, there's a lot of meat and potatoes there I could share with you, but uh, let's just call it right there. Stay rooted and grounded in the Word of God and have faith.